a gum shield's come out. Yeah, that's usually indicative of your opponent getting tired because the gum shield, as you call it, sir, it restricts your breathing. Mouthpiece is what you like to call it, right? I like to call it All right. the teeth saver. <laughs> Hassan here is getting really tired. You can tell he spit out that mouthpiece. I think he may have really used up a lot of his energy with that initial choke. Cheng pressing down with that elbow. He's used it. He's used it as quite a potent weapon there about 30 seconds ago. Looking also for knees to the head and body. There's another left knee to the head. Cheng, who was in quite a bit of trouble in the early moments of this opening round, is coming back. What an intriguing contest this is. And he, he has a lot of time to work, too. Two minutes left, and you know, he has to be careful here if you're Hassan, because you are in a really bad spot. And you see Hassan's holding on to the head of Cheng, trying to hold him down, but he's really exposing that arm. Cheng can step around for a far side arm bar. He can start working Kimura's. Or he can just work that right knee across the belly of Hassan and move into mount. A little bit late here, but there's that wrestling base that we're talking about. See those hips just digging in deep. It's going to be very hard for Hassan to get Chang off here. Again, the elbow, the forearm onto Hassan's head. Nice punches. And the back. One-way ticket to Backville. This could be the beginning of the end here. Hassan has a minute to survive in this position. That's 260 pounds of beef coming down out of the sky, too. That's really going to take its toll. And when those punches come under the armpit, as they are doing there, they're landing flush on the face. Hassan taking a lot of punishment. Olivier Cost asking him to defend himself, himself and do so effectively, because if he doesn't, Olivier Cost will step in here. Well, he's got 40 seconds to hang on. One of the things Olivier Cost is going to look at is that Hassan turned his back, and that's a defensive maneuver. It's a little like you're kind of giving up that position because you're taking punishment. And we must have had 30-plus blows rain down. Taking punishment is what you said. He's not giving anything back, the Egyptian. Yeah, we haven't really seen anything in the way of offense from Hassan on the ground. He had that guillotine choke in a little bit. But it's going to be a whole other round here in about 10 seconds. And we're really going to get to see whose cardio is going to play a factor here. Because big guys, it's one of the things that the trade-off of that strength is, is the lactic acid buildup and all the oxygen that your muscles use. He survives. The end there with the punches, I'm not sure how effective that was, but I'm looking at him ahead on the scorecards right now for damage inflicted in that round. Oh, Cheng's down, and he takes, oh, and he was going to take a knee to the head, but incredible reversal from Paul Cheng. Oh, that was monumental. And Mahmoud Hassan has been cut over his left eye. These two are giving and taking quite a lot of punishment directly above us here at cage side at the NTU Sports Center. It's almost disconcerting making eye contact with Chain here as he's in on a double leg. I mean, the tenacity... You know, he ate a couple of big shots. He's given a couple of big ones right back here. And, oh, just missed with that left. Hassan's face is a mess. We talked about the damage done to Paul Cheng, but Hassan now is perhaps the man. If we can just get a look at how serious that is, certainly the doctor's going to take a look at it. Here we go. Second round is resumed with 3.45 to go. And both men just very cognizant of this other's striking prowess, and more importantly, with a power packed behind those punches. I think Chang wisely goes in here for a double leg takedown and try to exploit that grappling prowess. Oh, the knee to the head from Hassan. And that was, that was on the good eye. You know, you'll see guys that don't fight the takedown like Hassan there looking for that guillotine, and it's, it's kind of a risky factor because you have to be really sure that you're gonna be able to grab that neck and really connect with that. And that's fine if you don't wanna fight a takedown, if you think you can get the submission, but if you just get in a position here and you can see on Hassan's face, he is really muscling this guillotine. And you can see why his mouthpiece fell out because he, he, he sort of plays with it as he's uh, exerting all that effort well, in the guillotine. He's, he's trying to breathe and get more oxygen. I mean, that, he's using a tremendous amount of strength here. And one of the things I don't think he's cognizant of is that he has Paul Chang's right arm trapped in there. So even though there's a lot of pressure on Paul's neck, 
he's expending more muscle and more oxygen in just the lactic acid buildup by squeezing constantly. And as the fight goes on, that's gonna play a huge factor in your punching ability and your defensive ability. So Paul's just kind of playing possum a little bit here. He slipped out of it. The blood and the perspiration will have helped. Now, forearm on the face. We've seen that before. And Paul Chang's gonna try to work right into mount here. He's in cross side, past the guard of Hassan. He's gonna start throwing those punches down. Again, start working the knees to the face.